and welcome to my video where I show you the top books that I read in 2014 so far. She wasn't really comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, to, it's July and I thought maybe showing the books that are my favorite books that I read in 2014 so far would be a good video. And I have six books that are probably my favorites of 2014. These books didn't actually come out in 2014. They just happen to be the books that I read in 2014. Go ahead and get started. This is in no particular order and in no favoritism order or any of that order. It's just whatever I pick. The first book is Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. This book is a contemporary about two best friends when and where one of the best friends actually gets cancer. And the book just talks about how the two best friends go through that struggle and it is so it's a very sad book. Um, it's very emotional and uh, <sighs> emotions right now. It's just it's just a really really good read. And if you haven't read it and you're a contemporary fan and you like your realistic fictions, then I think you should totally go ahead and pick it up because this book was just a roller coaster ride. And I love the friendship in it. And it says here in the face of tragedy, friendship is everything. So yeah, it was a really good book. The next book is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. This book is actually a really good and funny contemporary. It's got a lot of laughs, a lot of tears, and a lot of those iffy moments. And you, if you want a detailed review, I actually did film a review, a video review of this book, so I will put it down in the description below. So yeah, it was a really, it's, a, it's definitely a favorite of mine. I really enjoyed it. The next book is The Treatment by Suzanne Young. This is the sequel to the program, a dystopian duology. I also already filmed a video review of The Treatment, which I will also link down below. This duology it remains one of my all-time favorite dystopians ever. The Treatment came out this year in April, and I read it, and I devoured it, and I absolutely loved it. It was a great ending to this duology. I was a little bit sad to see it ending, but again, I loved the ending, and I was so happy with how everything turned up. And this this duology is great. I can't stop recommending it to all those dystopian fans out there. So again, if you haven't read it, you should totally pick up the treatment. I made all my friends pick it up and each and every single one of them loved it. We thought it was depressing, but they loved it. So yeah, dystopian fans out there, I recommend you check it out. Next favorite of mine is Cress by Marissa Meyer. Meyer or Meyer? I really have no idea. Um, this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. Yes, third. The first being Cinder, the second being Scar Scarlet, and the third being Crest. This is one huge book. I actually don't have the final copy of it. I do plan on buying it because this book was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I loved it better than Scarlet and maybe even better than Cinder. The characters were amazing. Everything about it was fantastic. I also filmed a video review for this one, so that will also be linked down below. I think I filmed a video review. Wait. Yes, I did film a video review, <laughs> so that will also be linked down below. The next book has to be, and it's pretty, it's a, it's a pretty obvious pick, Ignite Me by Tara Mafi. This is the final, and this is the third and final book to the Shatter Me trilogy. Definitely an amazing ending. I love this book, and I had some amazing moments there. Not as a lot of people, I don't know, some people had to stick it on every single page, <laughs> which is debatable. It's okay. The Ignite Me was. Uh, amazing, which is why it's in this video. It's definitely filled with amazing characters, amazing plot. I loved how it ended. Tara Muffy did an amazing job in just finishing this trilogy. It's sad to see it go as well, but it was a really good book and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I don't have a video review for this, but we did have a live show. We did have a live show talk about it, so maybe I'll link that down below. <laughs> like I'm advertising every single video on my YouTube channel right now. And the last and final book from my 2014 favorites so far is Divergent by Veronica Roth. Um, if, you've, if you've been watching my videos lately, I've been probably mentioning about how much I really love this book and how much this was not a letdown for me. I was totally expecting it to be a letdown because after all the hype about Divergent, I definitely my, I had high hopes for it and I was so thankful that 
it was amazing. It was as amazing as everyone said it was. I loved every single page. It was full of adventure, full of love and romance and friendship and action and kick butt characters and it was everything that I hoped for it to be. I yet have to read Insurgent and Legion. So I'm so happy I picked this one up. The movie was amazing too. I really loved the movie and yeah. So from the 22 books that I read so far in 2014, shame, shame, shame. These six are my top favorites. I really loved each and every single of the, one of the books that I mentioned for absolutely different reasons. Most of them, as I can see, are dystopian and yeah, pretty, pretty good. I hope to read a lot more the remaining six months and at the end of the year I'll hopefully do another video like this one showing you the top books that I read in 2014 from now till the end. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and my hands are everywhere right now. Calm down. Mm. Aww. This baby wants to say bye because he got jealous he wasn't in the video before. So yeah, um, thumbs up for the kitty right here. <laughs> so cute. He doesn't want to kiss me, I don't know why. <laughs> I have good breath. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in my next video. Peace.